We're probably gonna do the Baron. Feel it. The walls between the oh, the Baron. It's gonna take forever. I'm not worried about the fight at all, but. Thin here. Yeah, we're gonna do the Baron. Dismiss them all. I might. I might. Baron time. The Baron is the last veteran thing we need to do in the game. <sighs> gonna take forever. I'm trying to like hour and a half, two hours. Was that a fanatic hunt? Yeah, it was. Uh, well, it had a couple of purposes. One was to hunt the fanatic. One was a it was a long dungeon to push meter on the cove. Do a take a break and do some Twitch thing stuff. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get ready for the fanatic. Or off, oh, god, the Baron. Okay, we're gonna take. Uh, 17, I believe it was, right? 17? Yeah, 17. Or was it Fluffkins? Let's look. Natural Swing, Tough, Fairweather Fighter, Precise Striker, Photomania. Precise Striker is 5% crit versus Accuracy. I want to take Fluffkins. I think I want to take Fluffkins. 5% crit is amazing. Sing for us. You've killed the fanatic. Is he gone for good or does he come back? He'll come back. He'll come back um, after the Baron. Another fanatic, I suppose. How you doing, Sarah? How you doing, Jer? All right, Fluffkins is going in. Uh, was Skid the one we were going to take as well? I feel like it was Skid. Take Fluffkins. I was gonna take a Houndmaster. Yokaz has quick draw on guard, early riser. Holy crap. Quick draw on guard, early riser? He has 16 speed on round one. <laughs> Yokaz has 16 speed on round one. That's insane with no trinkets. Let's see, Ginger, hard skin is good. Tat evasive is good. Thing is, I need to level up Yokas. I need to level him up. Hard skin is probably the most helpful. Because with hard skin, I mean, that helps us against the croc. And the croc is one of the main things we need to get out of in great shape. So. If I take Ginger here, though... We are going to have to do at least one more veteran dungeon sometime in this playthrough. Which is okay. We need to push meter still too. That's fine. Overall, I think. And then a Vestal. Which is Cat Hippocratic, yeah. Very well. Semester's over. For a birthday weekend starts today. How many of you are having birthdays today? And this weekend? Holy cow. Well, happy birthday, Jer. It's at least three of you now. How you doing, Snap? Welcome in. Look at all those hours. Thank you, Snap, for the hours. Jared, thank you for the hours. You are not. It's my unbirthday. Which was last week. Happy belated birthday, Pineapple. Pineapple, is that why you had the spa treatment? Dude, how you doing, Muck? Muck, it's good to see you. This was last week. All these summer babies. Happy belated birthday, Miss Lady Goat. Very merry on birthday to, to me? Did you shout out? Oh, I know, right, Muck? So, I was I was very stunned by that, too. <laughs> yeah. That's why. Now it makes sense. Well, Pineapple, happy birthday. Lady Goat, happy birthday. Let's see. Why are there so many people being born in the summertime? What was nine months ago? The start of cold weather? Don't- oh, my bad. <laughs> so she's gonna enjoy decompressing. Alright guys. 
We're gonna go do it. Um, this can actually be a really good move if we're super stressed and we have the herbs. What about 9.5 months after your parents' wedding? Hmm, honeymoon style. That's what I was thinking, Halloween. <laughs> All right, uh, any stress we need to get rid of this week? Am I gonna keep these? I mean, I, I guess I need to keep Lolek if we're gonna do one, at least one more veteran. I think I'll probably dismiss Garth. I actually need to go through this a bit now. Valentine's babies. Yeah, it's a weird thing to think back on. It's kind of a thing you probably don't want to think back on, but... Hmm. I might just miss a bit of heroes here. Come to think of it. Um, well, let's think about this a little bit. So, basically, the safest way to push meter is by doing long apprentice dungeons. But we have a, we don't have very many uh, apprentice level people left. So if we want to safely push meter, we need a lot more green characters. And so, do we have any green vessels? We don't. Dungeon for a long time. Never get finished. She's still working on it. She tweets about it almost every day. Claire hasn't been to our channel though for like a couple months. No hard feelings to Claire. I know she's super busy, but. Claire was was always around. It's always it's always odd when someone's here for a long time and they're gone. I just always hope they're all right, which I guess they, they are. But uh, yeah, she she tweeted about Moonlit Dungeon earlier today. Uh, the beta for it is coming up soon. All right. So we don't. What do you dock? We don't need Garthfields. All right, so let's dismiss Garthfields. Oh, I need to uh, rename someone. Mm, Mowbray. Mowbray. <clears throat> Garthfields. Okay. <clears throat> Whoops. Dismiss Garthfields. Send this one to Jones Bring in Garthfields. Well, we have need of uh, Seeker. Juliet. I think I might just keep them. Um, we're going to do at least one more veteran. So I can dismiss one of these two. Tet, you might become a level zero again. Or one. Sorry, Tet. <clears throat> it's for the greater good of the run. I don't know though. Tet has evasive. Yokas has Eldritch Hater. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, Tet. Psy Striker. Bye, Tet. Hello, Tet. Turn yourself now to the condition of those poor devils who remain. Am I going to use Kaz anymore? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. We're also not going to use all three of these. We're going to use Senor Low. We're going to use Gurg. We're not going to use Frag. We've sent gold on Frag, though. So it kind of feels bad, but... Six afflictions in a row. Man, abusive rational. Oh, there's powerful, powerful Gar. How do you grow lucky? <laughs> Frag, I'm going to drop you. I'm sorry, Frag. I'm not going to use you in the Darkest Dungeons or any of the boss fights, so... Uh, we need to spawn more green dungeons. Fragalax. It's like Shambalam. 
Whoa, Black Betty. Fragalax. Whoa, Black Betty. Shamblam. No more Shamblams. Please. Horse, nor the broken man. We could probably get rid of one of our high-level Vestals also. We got plenty of them. Let's see, Irish. Snap. Get rid of Snap. Nothing good on him. We haven't spent their level 5 stuff. Snap. Replacing you. Sorry, Snap. Sham lamps. So the reason we're doing this, for anyone that's wondering, is we're trying to spawn more green dungeons so we can more easily push meter. That's the strategy. Another soul In fact, I might even extend this. Cast aside Let me go check the um, districts before we go into the Baron. Baron dungeons going to be long, so we got to make sure we're prepared to it, for it. Uh, puppet theater, don't really care about. Um, Altar of the Light. I might start prioritizing um, deeds because Altar of the Light's really good. We're going to use a Vestal in three of the four Darkest Dungeons. Extra Stun Resist and Healing are both really good there. Uh, the extra health here is pretty good too. We're going to use a Houndmaster in all four. Man at Arms in two of them. So, 300 Crests. So we might save it for the training room next, actually. It's a lot of deeds. Dirty deeds. Alright. I think we're good, guys. I think we're good. Uh, any diseases we want to get rid of this week? Don't think so. Nope. Any stress? I mean, if we're keeping those, I guess we need to get rid of their stress. So Seeker... And Juliet. Juliet's a flagellant and will only flagellate. What's UCC? Well, that's the game of Urinal Chicken, of course. Urinal Chicken Champion. Dirty deeds. Done dirt cheap with sheep. Alright. Any uh, any negative quirks we gotta get rid of this week? Let's double check. Uh, he has quite a bit, actually. Obsessive killing can be... Can be bad. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, it's been okay. I mean, we haven't had any deaths, but it's... Welcome back. We've had Your some kind of... We've killed a fanatic. <laughs> How you doing, Dogma? Coder's block. Coder, thank you for the resub. Three months. Guys, if you would drop some loving sandwiches in the chat for Coder. Coder's block. How have you been? Thank you for the resub. Oh, none of these are, like, super bad. Really. Bloodthirsty. We can get rid of Bloodthirsty. I mean, that's, that's a maybe. It's a force interaction quirk. And most of the stuff it force interacts with cause some uh, some problems. The harder bosses. Yeah, I think it is. It's one of the RNG RNG bosses. Alright, we'll get rid of this. Bloodthirsty. Nothing to lock in. And... I guess we'll get rid of one of these banded arms problems now I usually wouldn't put this here with someone that isn't uh, cursed but since we're doing a one shot of the Baron hopefully uh, it shouldn't matter everyone's gonna get cured hey Captain Kane welcome back how you doing Kane started a new job it's been a stranger prime sub is ready oh no worries coder it's good to see you again congrats on the new job hopefully you're liking it thank you again for the prime I mean it financially supports me and my family and the stream Congrats, Coder. Thank you again. Alrighty. It's time. Very, very, very long dungeon. Use Houndmaster on Dark Session 1. Uh, I usually do. Yeah. But I might use a... I'm not sure yet. I might use Jester this time, but I usually use Houndmaster. <sighs> Alright. So, since the Crimson Court counts as Radiant Light, we can't use our... Uh, moon cloaks and things like that. Now our healer is still going to use Sacred Scroll, Junius Head. Um, let's take a look here. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Trucks, big trucks. Thank you for the resub. Seven months with the big trucks, big trucks. Thank you for the continued support. Also, love the sandwiches to trucks. Thank you, trucks. So we're probably going to use Overture Box. 
We're probably going to use surgical gloves. We're probably going to maybe use camo cloaks. Possibility. Sun cloaks is a possibility. Feather crystal. Feather crystal is a little bit scary here. I like the speed and dodge, but the minus stun is really scary against Chevaliers. So, Barristan's head I often take on the Jester when we go here. Probably won't take the Book of Sanity. We might take the Focus Ring. So that's our main options. All these trinkets. So on our Jester, we definitely want to take Overture. The extra health and the dodge. Uh, on our Hellion, we do have uh, Heaven's Hairpin, which gives her plus 10 accuracy and extra uh, stress reduction. And both of those do work in the Crimson Court. No, we looked it up, Pwned. We looked it up. It's pronounced both ways. We've we've looked up on stream all the pronunciations of everything in the Crimson Court. And that one is also pronounced Chevalier. Because I used to call the Viscount the Viscount. Because I had only ever read the name. But we looked him up. It was a whole big ordeal one night. Like a year ago. Less than a year ago. Um, I don't know if I need all that extra accuracy. Just the five will probably be fine. Let's do focus ring and surgical glove. Now the problem is she's going to probably end up with the, the curse. And she's going to have her health reduced to what? 37? Shav it's Chevy. We started calling them Chevys that night. Even after looking up the pronunciations, some people were still not happy with it. So we started calling them Chevys. Dragon, how you doing, Dragon? Which is the Dark Dungeon universe taste? Uh, the only ones I know about is the pigs and the fish. Our Chevy community. Lantern, Lantern, thank you for the follow. So I'm either going to take Camo Cloak... Barristan's or Sun Cloak on our Jester. For a Houndmaster, I usually take Camo Cloak. You own a Chevy? Dead, apparently. British versus American, yeah. Or uh, French versus American. Something like that. Uh, I think I'm going to go full dodge on him. Man, he just won't be able... He will get stunned every time is the only problem. Which is the past, none of which are still running. Camo Cloak. Sun Cloak. He's wearing two cloaks. Pronounced Colonel as Colon L for years. Yeah, I mean, I, I, deal, I deal with having to be gra grammar Nazi-ish in, in my normal work. But when it comes to, like, chat and things like that, if you or hearing someone, if you get something wrong... Doesn't matter at all to me, as long as I know what you mean. Another thing, uh, and I, I don't mind being corrected on things, but uh, no shame about mispronouncing. Usually when you mispronounce something, it's because you learned it through reading, right? And there's no shame in that. I really don't know what I want to put on them. I'm leaning towards Barristan's head. If we put Barristan's head on him, we pretty much don't have to worry about uh, them dying. To neglect. Here's gone. I'm just stop caring about be proper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. The only reason I like replied is because we we did there was a big thing about it. We did it on stream. Because I didn't know either, and that's when I uh, started pronouncing the Viscount correctly. Alright, Bearson's head it is. This is pretty important because we're gonna be in this dungeon a very long time, and we're only doing one invite. Hey Mendez, how's it going? It's a word you butcher the pronunciation of. You're in high school. Sound like... Yeah, that's true, too. It's posthumous, right? Instead of posthumous. Uh, Sacred Scroll, Junior's Head. Overture, Barristan's. Same, way, same thing for me. Facade, facade. What about Fox and Foe? So many. So many. What a whore's divorce was. <laughs> well, that's what you call it when a prostitute gets divorced. Where I'm from. <laughs> no, no one... Didn't. Anyway. 
Double cloak, scamo cloak, sun cloak. Rendezvous. Rendezvous. Hollow Knight? Yeah. Hollow Knight is an awesome game. Fox leather. Earlier this week. <laughs> Alright, I think we're as prepared as we can be. No more beating around the bush. No, I told you I don't mind at all. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, so for anyone that doesn't know about the courtyard, so to go to the Baron, it takes one invite, one Baron invite, uh, but it's a different kind of dungeon than the rest of the game. So the prog it's a huge dungeon, but your progress is saved unlike elsewhere. So you go as far as you can go, and then you can retreat, and you don't get stressed from retreating, and you can go back in and start from the exact spot you left off as long as you have another invite. We are going to try to do the whole thing in one invite. Bad clipping skills. Are gold or heirlooms worth more? It depends. It depends on what you need to upgrade at that point in the game. I can talk a little bit more about that if you remind me while we're in the dungeon. Hey, Strike. Welcome in. How you doing, Strike? You, my friend, are rated E for excellent. Chair a year. <laughs> Guys, please drop some love and sandwiches in chat. He will join us for Jair, or die, for Tri Paladin. Jair, tier two, the, the Carbonite Sub Club. Uh, who's wasting? Let's go use the cure on them, actually. Thank you, Jair, for the 12 months, an entire year, tier two. Appreciate it. Wasting, there we go. Wait, can I use it on them in town? I don't, I can't. I can't. No, yeah, I remember how that works now. Mod pay? Yeah, double your pay, Rakes. <coughs> thank you, Jaren. Try Paladin, thank you for the, um, the Cubics Rube gift sub. Thank you, Paladin. <coughs> Wait, what did it say about still embarking? Oh, yeah, invite. All right. Double pay. Yeah, no problem, Rakes. Don't tell the other mods. I got nothing. <laughs> okay, we got all the food. So we're not here for um, not here for loot. Uh, is that goal? Oh, I didn't check. Let me look. Nope, not yet. Eight of ten. Eight of ten. Close. Food. We got shovels. Uh, I got some starting blood. I think we're good. All right, we got upgrades, we got trinkets, skills, camping, upgrades, trinkets, skills, camping, upgrades, trinkets, skills, camping. Upgrades. You can camp here, believe it or not. I'll show that too. Trinkets. Camping. All right, guys, this is a very long dungeon. It is a massive dungeon. I'm going to use the restroom really quick before we get started because this might take a couple hours to do. Uh, I think we have everything, though. We got all the food. We got a stack of shovels, which should be enough. We should find a couple when we're in there. Two time you're no chicken champ right here. Yeah. I think we're good. Alright. All right, bad guys. Uh well this loads in. The Baron. The Baron. Oh, I was looking at uh VODs today. Uh the last time we fought the Baron was almost two months ago. Run four Baron was almost two months ago. Crime Lord's molars, I don't really use it. I mean I don't know. I'll, there's not a ton of the Crimson uh, Court Trinkets that I use. Um, it's okay. I don't really use it. Alright, let's do this. Uh, there was a couple questions I said I would talk about while we're in here. I don't remember what they were, so... If you want to... Say them again. 
My epidermis. No, no, there's more of it. <laughs> hey, Chibuddy. Chibuddy G, how you doing? Welcome in. It was just gold, thank you. So it depends. It depends on what you uh, need back in the dungeon. So, um, basically, how I look at it is if I'm not going to be doing the next tier of dungeon for a while, I generally um, will get gold over heirlooms, especially because of the bank and I get interest off the bank. Uh, but basically, as long as you have the heirlooms that you are you are upgraded for the current level of gear, uh, generally bringing gold in is, is better. Just a rough kind of idea, but uh, I just I basically look at what we're going to be doing soon and then try to see what we need in town, whether that is actually doing the upgrades themselves, buying trinkets, or if we need to upgrade like the blacksmith and guild. So, not a great answer maybe, but honestly, it just depends. Like in the beginning of the game, I will usually uh, prioritize heirlooms until we get um, the blacksmith in the guild to level two for weapons, armor, and skill upgrades. And then, there's Crypts of Curse already. And then after that, I'll prioritize gold for a while. And then when we start getting to the point where it's getting close to time to do veteran dungeons, I'll start doing uh, prioritizing portraits and deeds again in order to get the, uh, the upgrades for those or for veteran dungeons so it kind of goes back and forth depending on what you need basically As the fiend falls, I'm just getting skeleton him deep inside shieldbreaker is so good for the croc the problem with the shieldbreaker on the croc is that she has low health right and the croc can hit really hard. So, I mean, she does have the block, but if she's blocking, you're not doing damage. You can probably put her block up, I guess, when he submerges. You get four of those. She's fine for it. I prefer the Hellion over the Shieldbreaker in most scenarios, including the croc, but she's fine for it. It's not like she's bad on it. She's better than a lot of heroes for it, but I prefer the Hellion on it. I didn't boon, by the way. We're not here for loot. Not here for loot. We're here to kill the Baron in one invite. Traps really suck here. Uh, they deal damage and they have a chance to uh, spawn a battle. Torches here give you an accuracy buff for your next battle. Now this map is enormous. It is huge. But there's a lot of dead ends. There's a lot of places you don't have to go. Uh, if you're going through blindly and you are going completely blindly and not going to use a map... Wow, in his bloodlust, he hugged his puppy. Let's go ahead and buff. God, denied the buff. So if you're not going to use a map, you might stumble around for a very long time. That's how I did it the first time, and it took forever. It took like three or four times to go in here. But I've done this place now like, I don't know, 12 times or something. So at this point, basically I know the layout of the dungeon, and we can just go straight to the Baron. Even knowing the exact layout, this is still going to take us probably a couple hours. You take the second the second way down is the first thing you do. Uh, we'll do some damage. <clears throat> you can actually skip the first key too, unless you want to go to the secret secret area. Do I need the blue key? It just depends. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if I want to do all keys or not. But yeah, that's what I was gonna mention. You don't have to take one of them. Blue yellow key, and you pick a direction, and you pick the opposite that direction, because you're always wrong. Um, Death waits. I think you go down first, right? Do you go down first? <clears throat> Got a crit plus the curse. Would you between the stream? What happens if you're, you lose character? Are you expecting to be able to first try this? Well, this is our 20th attempt. Uh, so, Turkles, if we lose a character at any point, for any reason, at any point in the game, whether it's on the old road or the final dungeon, we start over. Now, first off, Turkles, thank you for coming into the stream, I appreciate it. But, uh, we have done this challenge before, minus all bosses. 
and it took 31 attempts and almost three months to do. So we absolutely won't do it on the first attempt. Uh, I mean, we already have failed that. We're on attempt 20 on this exact one. So we did Torchless Deathless Blood Moon before, but it wasn't all bosses. It was an any percent version, so to say. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious First right key. Yeah, I guess you don't need the first one. Um, because the first one only unlocks the gate here, like right here. Died of thirst. Uh, I should have already used that. That was my bad. Masochism? Yep. You have to be a little bit masochistic to stream almost 2,000 hours of Darkest Dungeon, right? Uh, I am going to use... I'm going to save one of these for the, for the croc. I might save them both, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so, I like killing Cortezon first because she's going to buff everyone else. And... It's a good thing to do. She's going to bleed out next round unless she does the thirst, yeah. That all the time. A lot of people do. <laughs> hey, Troy. Welcome in. How you doing, Troy? Destroy. Good crit from Fluffkins. Good dodge. Oh, that was a 92% chance to hit. 92 isn't 100. Boy, don't we know that one. Uh, we might as well get rid of some stress. We don't need the buff. Even though we're not super stressed, we might as well get rid of it anytime we can for free. Always do that. Bottom right, comes to court, trinket room. Yeah, I know, but why not just get the second key? Community grows. I don't know. I'll 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 think about it. Turkles, Turkles leave the follow. In the fever pitch of battle. Croc always builds a ton of stress. Eh, I don't know. It can, yeah. It just, I mean, it, it's a very, it's another one of those really heavy RNG fights, right? Because if Apex Predator hits three people over and over, especially if it crits over and over, the, the croc can just can flat out kill you. If he teeth rakes the Vestal to position one over and over, you're just, you're just screwed. But we've definitely had croc fights that went super, super easy. Back from the Darkest Dungeons and then approaching the town, someone comes running to you. Tell you someone choked to death on a chicken bone in the tavern. Run ruins. <laughs> Bring finale on the jester. Um, I didn't for this. Sometimes I'll bring it for the baron. I ended up not doing it this time though. For the baron and the croc, might should have. The croc, yeah, the croc is one of those fights where it usually either goes really well or it destroys you. There's no in between hardly. <laughs> I'm glad that can't happen, Larkin. All right, so use a torch on the mist. Blockage. Judas head and sacred scroll. That's my combo. I mean, it's the combo I use on her. So you go down at the... F so this is a dead end. This is a dead end. This eventually is a very long group of dead ends. So you go down Our first. Community grows. Jiang Shi. Jiang Shi, thank you for the follow. Hopefully I'm not butchering your name. But I appreciate it. I don't know if I'll get this first red key. I mean... Hmm. I'm gonna buff. So, surprisingly, the large corpse eater is actually one of the most deadly <laughs> fights in uh, in here, even though it's not really a Crimson Court mob. The, the large corpse eater can crit anyone to death's door if they're marked. If you don't have stacked protection. Is it you must pay royalties? Uh, that's right. Uh, I'm gonna buff again. This gives us speed, accuracy, and crit. I'm gonna try to stun here so it doesn't get a mark on anyone. Got it. Crit. We'll stun it every single round we can. It shouldn't be able to kill us by itself. The The problem is, like, if it crits us to death's door, we'll have death's door recovery for the entire rest of this dungeon. It's a long dungeon. 
done, yay. Got him. Did he even get to attack? Didn't get to do damage. Good, good. All right, he's back normal. No longer bloodlusting, so we don't have his 20% additional uh, damage, but also he's not going to act afflicted anymore. So you can use a torch on that. We're not going to. Don't need to. Don't need to. Oh, we actually got a real scout. None of those fake scouts. Wait, it's down and over, right? My, where you can kill the cosmic emptiness things. And the reeds. Cattails. Uh, double Chevalier is scary. We did get the uh, surprise on them, though. I'm going to stun one of them. Or am I? I think I'm actually just going to go for the kill on the back one. But what if our Vestal doesn't get the stun here? Nah, we'll stun. Masochistic. Irrational. We'll try to kill the back one. It's un unlikely, unless she gets a massive crit. Double dagger to make a positive. Oh, she's going to be bloodlusting for this attack, which is actually pretty good. A nine. She rolled low end and didn't crit. All right, here comes the big one. Oh, <laughs> the double dodge. Take it. <clears throat> guy on the stream. Hey, Doc. How's it going? Doc, I was using your character like last night and I thought about you. How you been, Doc? How have things been going? <clears throat> Excuse me. Crit. One down. <clears throat> All these are basically not stunnable this round. Let's buff our speed, accuracy, and crit. And we'll heal while we can. I should have probably checked and seen if Judgment was a guaranteed hit. Also went to a home and she's saying, gotcha. How's your wife wife doing about it? Kind of bittersweet for her, especially. Add about it being butchered. Things are tricky. Gotcha. Uh well, if you want if you know how to like type it phonetically, I'll try to get it right in the future. But no worries. Thank you again for being here and for the follow. Jing um, again, we're going to stun this any chance we can. We just can't afford for it to crit us, you know. Uh, we have our buffs well enough, so I'm going to start stress healing. We're not super stressed, but anytime we can get rid of stress for free, we do it. Yeah. Sorry that had to happen, but I know it's been... It's one of those tough things, right, where it's it's a burden, but a lot of times it's hard to say it's a burden because, you know, it's family sort of thing. Of course, you married into it, but you know what I mean. We've talked about it. You know what I mean. But in that, it's just getting better. Lost because your life has been all about looking after other people for so long. Well, yeah. Doc... Uh, hopefully it's for the better for everyone. Like you said, you know, that was a lot quicker though, huh? Well, I mean, you did say it was going to be months instead of years, but that was quicker than I thought you were going to have it. But anyway, hopefully it's better for everyone in the long run. You know, I'm sure, um, them being with professionals, she should be, a, a, be taken care of more closely. Less of a danger to herself and stuff. And then you guys can actually have your own lives again. Sorry, Doc, that had to come to that, obviously, but... Not fun, we're all happy. Good situation, yeah. Well, it's good to see you, Doc. Good to see you. Not to bring all that stuff up, I mean, unless you want to talk about it. You know the whole deal. You've been here long enough. If you want to talk about it, by all means. If you don't, and you want to just be distracted and chill, that's cool, too. But, always good to see you, Doc. Good crit. Yeah, okay. I'm going the right way. Do I want to get this key? Do I want to get this key for the extra Crimson Court trinket? 
He will join us or die, Master. Doc, Doc, thank you for the gift sub to Strike. Doc, thank you, I appreciate it. Love and sandwiches to, to Doc Xavier. Strike, welcome to the sub club. No more ads for you, plus you get to use all these love and sandwich emotes and gasms and hypes. Anywhere on Twitch. Much love, much, sa much sandwich to Doc. Um... That's dead end, right? The key is down here. Yeah, and this goes up and splits behind the door. The door is here. Croc, triple chevalier. Yep. Kindness merits random kindness in return. Hate this fight. Hate this fight. Much sandwich. It's, uh, Jiang Shi. Chinese for hopping vampire. Jiang Shi. Thank you. Basic arguing about facts. It's RBK. Sometimes it's hard not to get dragged in, but you know what they say about arguing on the internet or in general. There are no winners. <laughs> Keep it, keep it short. Um, yeah, we'll just take this out. Thing is, this can't cause stress outside of a crit, but it could stun us and ruin our lives. We're gonna try to keep the ghoul stunned as much as we can. It's a loser here. Sorry, BK. An XKCD link, huh? What is that, Hibiel? How tight are you for weeks on this run? How many retreats can you afford? So if we do everything perfectly, uh, you finish on about week 88. So, and that's doing long dungeons every time they're up, and medium dungeons if you can't do long dungeons, um, and doing, you know, all the bosses as soon as you can sort of thing. Um... So it's not super tight, right? But you don't have a lot of leeway. So we will probably finish in the low 90s if we... Or when, when we finish this fighting on the internet. <laughs> so roll bottom end. This one internet is wrong. I think I've seen it. Solid at Virgin Bowling. We've been pretty lucky <laughs> I mean, not tonight as a whole, but in the Crimson Court, we've been pretty lucky so far. It helps that we're keeping things stunned a lot. So yeah, Turtle's not super tight, but... But we try to uh, do long dungeons when we can to help give us a little bit of leeway. Hmm... I don't want to kill him too fast, so I'm going to do this. So this is going to bleed out before he gets to do an attack. That will allow us to get, like, two stress heals in, probably. Same arms and legs, completely stiff. Their knees are elbows. They hop everywhere. <laughs> nah, she's going to have to end up... Well, maybe... No, no. She's going to kill. <clears throat> oh, well. We got one extra stress healing. Guess they just hop with their feet and toes. I don't know. And we'll see. It's getting May from Overwatch. Is she the one that uh is May the ice one? Inconvenient. Told you guys about that fat vampire story, right? There's a, uh, there's a series of books, I think it's called Fat Vampire, and in that universe, however you are when you get turned into an immortal, when you get turned into a vampire, uh, we need to, well, disease isn't a really big deal on this team, but however you, you, you're, you are when you get turned into a vampire, including your ailments and everything, and how you look and your size and everything, those stay forever. So you're not cured of all that. So Fat Vampire is about this vampire who is late, or this guy who's lazy and obese and has asthma and things, and he gets turned into a vampire. 
So you know how like vampires are super fast and stuff? Not this guy. Not this guy. Let's link back. Uh, isn't there a character beast off the hopping vampire in Darkstalkers? I don't know. Another hey, Padapon. Welcome in. Cornies. Good morning. How you doing, Cornies? The mummy walk. Hops to have a trudge. Stating it was your own fault for getting involved and opposed requires research, reading the actual laws. For better now. <laughs> um... I'm gonna stress you. Today I learned. I was today years old. No crit on Skull Toss again. I mean, oh, I completed. She didn't get stunned either. We stun it now? <laughs> Everything's coming up Millhouse. house. Should vampires spend your mortal life just constantly wasting time? No consequence? Ah, the, the dream. Hey, that's not a bad immortality. Don't say so myself. So what TIL stands for today? Today I learned TIL. <laughs> Slob random stuff like Mr. Vampire films. It's dead. Get a heal in first. Shows Monster. and all that. Yeah, imagine all the games you could play. Merit, unless yeah. I could stream 24 hours. As long as I had some blood nearby. Uh, keys down here. You just learned. Today I learned TIO. I think it's more inter or threatening the Miller or the Sleeper. I think the Sleeper over... I mean, I don't know. I don't think either of them are super bad. But the thing about the Sleeper is that it's a lot... I mean, it hits really hard AoE over and over. And it, it goes two actions, right? The thing about the Miller is you can kind of keep him from uh, using double reap. As long as you make it so he doesn't have... Or he has like an open slot to summon or to cast something on one of his allies. He usually doesn't use double reap. So you get a breather where you can heal people back up. It's also less stress overall. I mean, they both have a, a similar danger to them. But... Yeah, I mean, I think this, the sleeper is more likely to kill you than the... It depends on your team, too, though. Let's go ahead and buff speed actually crit. This is a very high stress team. Like, if you have a shield breaker, the miller is like... Oftentimes, Miller is super easy. Shield Breaker. Let's see if we can stun this. Getting excited over something that can't happen. Oh, good dodges. Go to play every significant video game. Yeah. Read all the books. God, it would be amazing. Interest in the occult mythical creatures. Uh, Jiang Shi just happens to be your favorite. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm, I like that kind of stuff too. Mythical creatures or even like uh, cryptids. Cryptids are pretty interesting. I mean, I guess that can be considered the same thing. The difference, I suppose, is that cryptids, some of them are argued that they might still exist or might exist in general. Cryptids are a lot of fun, yeah. We'll get crit. Hey, Lovey, welcome in. How you doing, Lovey? Donations would be blood donations, Paladin. <laughs> Crimson Court end it? I don't think it. I mean, there's a chance, right? But you can't make the zero light, so. Hey, Don. How you doing? Welcome back. Actually, yeah, I'm getting excited. Don't want to end up like the knight or Nina Jones. Eh, that's true. Nine's not bad. Resist. this? Um, I think I'm going to go into stress healing now that we got a buff or two. Cryptids are, and cryptozoology is basically creatures that are argued might exist or might still exist or once existed, but there's no proof, uh, conclusive scientific proof at the moment. So Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster, stuff like that. Or state. It's legal. Have the Warriors game. What'd you miss? Um... Not too much. I mean, we killed... Let's see. We killed the Fanatic. 
I'm gonna guard here just in case. We killed the fanatic. We killed the flesh. Now we're on for the to the Baron. Welcome back, Mayor. Happy birthday, kid. Jersey Devil, Mothman, yeah. Uh, ninety-five percent. So we'll do this. Crit. Dead. Wait, does it possibly exist? Does it wishes? Yeah. I didn't know if you heard me earlier, so I decided to do it again. Dodges. Decimated. Great crit. You do doll on Steam. A new doll? What do you mean? Good stun. Confluence of skill and purpose. You will join us or die, Master. Doc! Thank you for gifting Mayher a subscription to the stream. I believe that's goal! Or were we already at goal? Guys, we'll do a Steam Key giveaway after this dungeon. So stick around, you don't have to be a subscriber. As long as you're a follower, uh, you can enter to win a Steam Key, up to $60 Steam Key. Doc, thank you for the gift sub. More love, more sandwiches to Doc. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna take this. Mayor, no more ads for you at this channel. No more ads, and uh, you can now use the emotes everywhere on Twitch. Is that more than one doll? But on Steam, what do you mean by doll on Steam? To the good luck pig. Oh, they're still here. Um, my wife just hasn't been feeling very well, so she hasn't been coming in. We, get, we need to get more blood. Holy crap. Hey, Nindo, welcome in. We've already used all of our blood. Just the time. Not yet. After this. Need more blood. Need more blood. Big time. Big time. It's almost croc time, huh? Almost croc time. Um... I think we're okay. Is this the one that connects up, or do, do I need to go that way? Oh, crap. That's the key. Oh. I just forgot this area really quick. I think... Yeah. Okay. I think we're right. Oh, no, he's craving. We don't have blood. We took all the blood we had, too. What can you use on this? Why can't I remember? Why can't I remember what you use on this? Does anyone else remember? Strange bones. Is it holy water? There's something negative, and there's a... Is it holy water? That's what I was thinking. It's been a couple months since we've been here. I remember the map, though, but I can't remember this. It's bandage for this. Littering gold. Thank you. Trinkets and baubles. Paid for in Bandage, blood. thank you. And then it's er it's blood on these, but we don't have any blood. It's herbs on the dinner cart. It's shovels on the wine crate. How you doing, Fiddles? 64 hours. Thank you, Fiddles. Croc time. Up ahead. Bandages, thank you. No worries, Phoenix. That's what I, I couldn't remember either. Please give us blood. Please give us blood. I've been very interested in Dark Dungeon for quite a while. I saw it on sale. Looking forward to learning more about it via streams. Well, if you have any questions, um, Jiang, let me know. I've streamed it for almost 2,000 hours. We, we do crazy challenges here on the channel. Um, yeah, if you have any questions at all about the game, by all means, let me know. Hey there, killer. <laughs> I do Narth. Coming to punch some things tonight. Stress you. We don't need the buff against her. We gotta really hope they drop blood. No. 
heal. This isn't stunnable. No punch class, Dark's Dungeon. Man at Arms with his shield. Well, there's an uppercut. Bounty Hunter. There you go. Good crit. She marked him. What's she thinking? Bounty Hunter is a thing. Good dodge. It's back every night. It brings you great joy. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Man, oh man. Uh, we don't need to heal. Let's go ahead and try to stun her. Missed that. I probably should have stress healed her. Our Hellion's more likely to crit stress off herself. No bounty tonight, no. No bounty tonight. Uh, we're going to do this Baron, <coughs> Baron dungeon. Excuse me. And then... When we're done with that, depending on how late it is, either we'll do another dungeon or we'll switch over to RimWorld for a little bit. What's well, seeing for you? Where am I on the challenge? We're on like week 62. <clears throat> and this is our last veteran thing. And we've also killed a couple of champion bosses. So we're we're pretty far into it. I would say we're like 70% through the challenge on this run. No blood! Come on. I'd hate to have to abandon this dungeon because we don't have blood. Should have brought those curse or cures, I guess. Hopefully, he doesn't refuse to do stuff on this fight. Slay the Spire. Yeah, I streamed it a, uh, a little bit. It's been a while since I streamed it, but yeah, I, I really like Slay the Spire too, Alex. Welcome back, Alex. It's Wolf. No, Wolf hasn't showed up. The Croc. Unnatural. So, again, the Croc can be like very easy fight or completely destroy you fight. One of the major things that determines how hard this fight is, is how many people he hits with um, uh, with Apex Predator. Ooh, quad dodge. How many people he hits with Apex Predator? So he can hit a single target, he can hit three targets. So if he chooses a single target every time, we're in really good shape. Uh, the other thing is Teeth Rake. That's the other thing that's really scary. We use a dog treat. Teeth Rake is a hard hitting move but aside from it just being a hard-hitting move, I'm going to try to stun him, actually, every chance we can. Aside from it just being a hard-hitting move, it pulls forward and it bleeds. So, and he tends to use it on your back line. So, he'll end up um, hitting the Vestal with a strong attack plus bleed. I mean, there's some merit, probably, in just guarding her. So that doesn't happen. Hmm. Blood did you bring in? We only had six to bring, I think. Not enough, though. I might just guard her. He's not stunnable. You know what? I'm going to do that. Just in case he uses Teeth Rake. Iron Jesus blesses me. Yeah, we need blood badly. Okay. Two dodges. Pretty good overall. Um, he is stunnable again, so we'll go into doing that, I think. I don't know. I might just guard tank her still. Teeth Rake is like the real thing that can screw this up. Submerge, so we're going to look for an Apex Predator, most likely. We'll buff again. Speed actually crit. Come on, Croc. Hey, careful, I'm gonna kill you in Rimworlds. Hey, we heal, get us talked back up. Let's see what happens. Apex, one person who has 84 dodge. <laughs> Come on, Adam. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Stun him. buff again. Good crit. Really good shape. Almost got him to half. 
Oh. Dodge. Stop again. <laughs> Cheer me for dodging. Thank you. Welcome back. Hey, Your noob. Past loyalty is greatly appreciated. Run no, no, no. Just came by to share my resub. Now I should go. Peace out, guys. Noob, thank you for the 10 months, man. 10 months, almost a year. It's crazy. Noob, thank you for continuing to use the Twitch Prime here. It financially supports me, stream, my family. Appreciate you, noob. Thanks for stopping in. Have a good night. This is run number 20. Good. Make a dinner now. See the run coming along. Let's go, Croc. Move the queue. Man, last night was scary enough, you know? Last night was scary enough. We can we can deal with a night that's okay. We almost lost twice last night. Sedated. It's easy. Going to bleeding a little bit. Just Every other round. Crit and always dodge. Always crit, always dodge. It's a strategy. We're not getting very many crits with her right now. Such a terrible there it is. Okay, she didn't get... We used a Holy Water, so she didn't get the bleed. And she didn't go all the way to position one. So, we're alright. We're alright. Is that answer you on Lurk? Especially the Xbox One. Just played that pretty much all night. Oh, no worries. Yeah, last night was scary. Last night was scary. Just buff again. Do you think only pulls two? Yep. Ooh, triple apex. No crits, though. Thank God. He will join us or die, Master. Count me out. Count me out. I think you really give sub to Phoenix. Thank you. Count me out. Much love, much sandwich. Count me out. Phoenix, you get back in here. <laughs> Thank you. Count me out. Percent no one bleeding. Yeah, I mean, I've been using holy waters, which is. I kind of didn't want to use holy waters. I want to save them. But, uh. It's pretty good. Oh, pretty good place. Okay, your subs. Members of the sub club. Aside from that, no other no other specific name. Much sandwich. Yeah, things can count me out. Another resist. Just die. Uh, I'm actually going to stress heal her one. Did Mark work for this boss? Dark Dungeon for okay, high speed. Are you asking if Mark's teams are good against the Croc, Lovey? Is that what you're asking? Natural is great early game. And then it falls off hard. Like, natural is incredible early game when you don't have trinkets. But after that, yeah. It's kind of pointless. Marks is okay against this team. He has two act. Well, here's the thing. He has two actions per round, right? So marks do fall off a little bit faster. And the other problem is that he submerges and has uh, a lot of dodge when he submerged. So a lot of times when he submerged, you don't end up being able to take advantage uh, of that mark anyway. So, I mean, marks aren't... They're not the worst thing against this boss. But they're also not super great. They're okay. I think bleed is better on him. Bleed and accuracy. Dodge tanking with a hound master works. Hey, look at that. It's a very good croc fight. Blood, blood, blood. GG! As victories mount. <sighs> I don't know about dodge. Strength lock is actually pretty decent. Salacious diary. <laughs> Chicken burger on banana bread. 
<sighs> Glad you enjoyed it, Rakes. <laughs> Her dodge was bad. There's no way to buy blood. Yeah, I mean, there's the sang Sanguine Vintner, but it only gives you two. Kitan and the Rat? I don't know. Like, maybe I should have brought the Rat or something. Dodge is great for the last run. Oh, you said it's not good. Oh, it's not good. My bad. For some reason, I completely read the knot as it was. Okay, the next fight is Triple Chevalier, which can be deadlier than the Croc if you get unlucky. He's still only craving at the moment. Ah, uh, wasting already. <clears throat> Man. It's unfortunate. So he has about 60 rounds till he just dies. What are the stages? This, uh, so there's the baseline, there's craving, and there's wasting. If they don't get blood at wasting, they die in like 60 rounds or something like that. <clears throat> uh, if you use blood on wasting, they'll go back to baseline. Yeah, so basically if you if you don't get blood to him, he'll eventually just die. Throw down a jute tapestry. Uh, I can leave the dungeon and we have cure at home, but <clears throat> it really sucked to lose the week. <clears throat> Is it abandoned a quest? No, it's not considered failing. As long as no one's up in the graveyard. Triple Chevalier. Basically, we have to get blood either from this fight or the next one, or we have to leave. Dodge accuracy crit. It's really unfortunate. They're not too far off, you remember. Yeah, it's going to cut it really close. Like, we could lose the whole run. We need more coffee? <laughs> Alrighty, Phoenix. Dodges. Sucks is going so well, minus that blood. Have I lost a hero? Yes, I have on stream. Chitin, as Kaz mentioned, died from it. So before they die, wasting? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Problem is, well, we actually don't need Ginger for the Darkest Dungeons either. Good crit. Phoenix does both. Hey, k -Pack, how's it going? Welcome in, k -Pack. Oh, I saw that there was a rumor for a new Left 4 Dead game. Did you see that count me out? <clears throat> Is that what you guys are talking about? Oh, no. I'm talking about World Z. But uh, there's a rumor that there's a <clears throat> Left 4 Dead 3 that's coming. I wonder who in chat will play that. Do you love it? That's the rumor. Who knows? Guacamelee, really? Seven years now, no the official. Hmm. We have to leave if we don't get blood here. Oh, goodness gracious, please give us blood. The problem is we have like 15 people cursed back home because we were trying to bait out the fanatic, which we ended up doing. But now that's going to mean a lot of blood's needed back in town if we don't do this this week. 
we lose a week, which is the worst thing, but... Yeah, Jester MVP. And then there's Craving again. Can dismiss them? Yeah, but it's like over... It's like half our roster or more. So I'm not going to dismiss that midi. I mean, I guess I could if it would save the run, but... I'm scared. I'm scared. Don't hit them, please. Thanks. Slightly tired already, though. Uh, I'm really far from the Baron. We can't make it to the Baron with a wasting. Super far from the Baron. What does the curse do? It has different levels. So the baseline curse makes it so they need blood um, eventually. But it gives them some buffs and debuffs. So they, with the baseline, they get um, minus stun resist, minus blight resist, minus bleed resist, minus maximum health. But they get plus one speed. Now when they're craving blood, the debuffs intensify. They get an extra speed. And if you give them blood, they'll go to bloodlusted. And bloodlusted actually gives them extra damage, um, extra stun resist, and extra speed. But if, hey, if they go to, Cletus. hey Cletus, Anybody want some if they go to wasting and you don't give them blood, they'll eventually die. No blood. Wow, that really sucks. When did he start wasting? He started wasting before the croc fight. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go. I should have thrown down the jute. Ten tiles ago, yeah, but all the rounds from the the two fights too. Shaping up in two, but I'll see how they can do a continuation to the story. Well, I don't know. It's all uh, it, it's it's a cycle, right? So I don't know. I don't know if it'll be a prequel or a Deering Witch or the cycle has been broken, but something new comes. He wasn't wasting Croc was before. Okay. That fight was what? Five rounds or something? Six rounds. I think we just have to leave. We can't end the run on it. Three or four tiles into the hallway and they go for 60. So, let's say, let's just say he was wasting the whole hallway. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Waste one feet on others? No. You know, gallows, how do you do it on site? No, it's not the not ending the run to push it. If I leave, we might have the run end because we don't have any blood back home, but we have like 20 heroes that have the curse. So it might end the run to leave. Like, we can't come back either. We we have to get blood. Twenty one plus. Doesn't it kill you at turn 60 or 61? Sixty one. Call for blood delivery, I wish. Dismissed all the wasters? No, no vintners yet. Blood Uber. Last fight. We get we gotta get through this fast. Rick, we go hunt frozen waste for the entrance to the Dark Dungeon. Start all this. Well, I mean, this one tells you the the origin of the the evil, and it wasn't in a mountain; it was under the manor. But hold secret to kill the creature, dead husk in the earth. Yeah, maybe. 
or like I said, maybe we break the cycle this time, and that's a continuation. But it says we're going to see what the rest of the world, or how the rest of the world's tainted, so I don't know. Guess only Red Hook knows. Does my secret, secret not sleep? Just be tired all the time. Don't perform at your optim optimal... I don't know. It's not fun not to get enough sleep. It's not like I want I want to not sleep. Cocaine? <laughs> no. <laughs> Break the cycle, kill the Reapers, check. Just make enough. Knowing Thanks, Phoenix. True. The birthplace of dread. I mean, how do you know prices? Crit. We're still on round one. Being realistic. I mean different plays. It's just fine. To keep the cycle. Some new dark ruins. We'll find out, I suppose. Please drop blood. Please, please, please drop blood. Keep you on a budget. <laughs> oh Lord. On prices, people does it seem to be upper middle class types? Makes sense. Blah blah blah. I know what that's from. Oh, why'd she pass her turn? God, those are terrifying. Where is all the blood? There's a fountain of it right there. Low and driven into the mud. That's it, guys. That's it. Just lap that up. Lap it up. Man, this is the first time I haven't one-shot the Baron in, like, the last ten times I've killed the Baron. It's unfortunate. Ignorance of your enemy? And of yourself <sighs> will invariably lead to defeat. Keep going? No, absolutely not. 